Ah, here is the captive goblin and the guards. One of this goblin's friends made off with my favorite axe, the one bearing a Lofric's golden tooth, and the loss of that precious memento has been inclined to take this goblin's head in payment. Oh, yeah, he's not happy about that, is he? What do you say about that, Eskil? Do you remember when Stolly the Hewer sent me into Deep's grave in search of the Zabani Bean, and I was captured by the orcs? This goblin was my jailer. He it, wa he it was that kept the hobgoblins from killing me. And then you and Trollsty freed me from the place. The guards weren't happy, but I convinced them, them he seemed a figure of importance. They have jailed him for now, but they're not happy about it. In truth, I'm not sure myself. Well, is this some sort of trick? Well, I don't know, but goblins can be tricky, that's for sure. What do you say about this? Um, Glurkoop. Something special about the axe? Glurkoop knows where it is. Maybe let him free if you find it? Hobgoblins will took the axe. Very mean, yes, very nasty, bad sorts. But Glurkub knows where he lives. In Shakarjat. That's the place. Knock on his door southeast of the fortress proper. And when Shoshruf answers, take the axe right from him. Uh, then you'll know that Glurkov is a very helpful goblin, and you'll set him free, ah? Huh? Yes, yes, we'll, we'll talk about that when you get back. Yes, we will. Uh, think about it, yes? Uh, uh, you, you will think about it, right? <laughs> uh, what do you say, Trollsty? Yes, we'll see about this hobgoblin, but if the captive has lied to us, we will come back at once and separate his head from his shoulders. <sighs> Shock shot, you said. Yes, let's go knock on the doors, Pine Leaf, and woe to the hobgoblin who answers. Well then, I guess I should go and find out. I believe that this is the place. I just need to speak with these hobgoblins with a pointed argument and then knock on the door, right? And see who answers. Howdy, howdy! Well, he has an axe. I'll have to examine it as soon as I'm done with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're quick in taking that back. It feels good to have my axe back in hand. For once again, I feel like Lofkrik is with me, though he died outside of Moria. What was wrong has been set right, though it took a goblin's help. What would Lofkrik say to that, I wonder? He would say that a bad deed is not entirely undone by a good one, Pineleaf. Let us bear that in mind when we return to the prisoner. Well... All right, well, back to Deeran. Now we have to decide what to do. I caution you and any others who speak to the prisoner not to trust everything that he says. He may mix truth 
with falsehoods in order to mislead us. Indeed, I would expect nothing else. And yet, if we bear that in mind, he may provide the Gabil Acha with some information. Ask him where he came from and why he is creeping about near the steep set. All right, I suppose I could do that. Well, what do you say? Yes, a glur cub would be very helpful to you as long as you keep him safe. Uh, yes, safe. Yes, yeah, yeah, safe from both dwarves and orcs. Uh, do you agree? Uh, think about it. Uh, think about it. Uh, and then I'll tell you my tale. All right. Well. Ah. Uh, you will see it. Put yourself in my shoes. Walk around and see from my side. Maybe then you'll know Glurkup tells the truth and Glurkup can be trusted. Uh, maybe then you let me go? Well, let us see what we have first, all right? All right, what's going on? I remember how it all began. Are you sure this plan of yours is going to work, Goblin? I'm taking a real risk of siding with you, and it'll be our heads if we're discovered. The dragon who commands the hobgoblins might be trapped behind the anvil of Winter's Death, but that has not decreased their numbers here. They're pushing us out, orcs and goblins both, and I don't like it. And why hasn't Gorgar stood up to get them? Bah! Mm. So, the plan is still on. We'll join the next raiding party heading south. And once free of the mountains, we'll slip away. We'll set up somewhere far from Gunabad, far from Gorgar, and far from those accursed hobgoblins. Okay. I have chosen three others who might join us. Uh, speak with them and see what you think, Goblin. Their names are Shugob, Lumbag, and Zogmok, and they're all here in their shop. All right, let's see. Oh, and one more thing, Lurkub. If you betray me... Or if any of your buddies get cold feet and turn me in. Let's just say you don't want to do that. <laughs> it will go very badly for you, goblin. Very badly. You want Muzmok for a friend. Trust me. So stick to the plan. All right. Fine, fine, fine. Hmm. All of them are good plans. Yes. Now, let's speak with the others. You're part of Moosebox Gang, eh? If we get found out, I'm telling Gorgar it was all his idea. Are you okay with that glue club? Then I'm in. Gorgar is losing his power to the hobgoblins day by day. Won't be good for any of us to still be here when he loses the last of it. Ah, hobgoblins. Ah, oh. Here's another one. Count me in, Glurkrup. This place won't be safe for us when the hobgoblins take over. Who plans to lead this raiding party? We will join. Uh, not Stug. Ah, that's good to know. It won't be easy, but I think I can get my hands on some of the badges his boys wear when they leave the mountain. 
You know the ones with the thunderclouds on them? We'll blend right in. And when we're safely in the country, we'll slip away for our better lives. It's a good plan. Yes, all of my plans are good plans. I would join this little band, it's true. Or I could turn you and your friends in for traitors and cowards. Hmm. You're dead, goblin. Oops. There's always one. Well, then. I guess we'll just have to deal with him. I give up! I give up! Your secret's safe with me. Uh. Yeah, enough. Are you they with us? Ah, I wondered about Zogmok. At least he has been dealt with before he could cause us any more. What's that? Someone comes! Gorgar! I am looking for a goblin! Uh, goblins, line up! You there, the short one! Come here! Uh-oh. I need you to come with me, goblin. You're just what I need for my purposes. <sighs> I have seen the glint of mithril inside the old tomb, but the entrance is sealed by a great rockfall. No. Or can move it through the opening, and it might be too small for most goblins. But you, I think you will serve. You will bring me this treasure, and be rewarded by Gorgar the Generous. Ah. <sighs> Goblin, are you through? Do you see the treasure? Let's see if we can find the treasure. Anywhere in here? Hmm. All I see is... Some sort of mural. Well, I still don't see any sort of... I did Gorgar's bidding in all things, no matter how dangerous. What did you say? A great force of dwarves approaching the mountains? Even now, they near Elder Slade, and Gorgar commands that I fight on his behalf.
I am regular chieftain of the wargs. I serve no orc. Why should I not devour you in a single gulp, goblin? That might be unwise, my lord. This goblin has been elevated by Gorgar. If Gorgar wins this power struggle, he cannot best the hobgoblins, let alone an army of dwarves. I will answer this call, goblin. For now. As we continue, we are taking a big risk trusting you again, Glurka. How are we to know you don't plan to trick us and turn us into Gorgar? Oh, pox and maggots, there's nothing for it. We'll fight through the dwarf lines and make for freedom. And if you betray us, Glurka, I'll see that you die for it. Well... This is our last test, boys. If we want our freedom, we've got to fight for it. Lumbog! Skoogolb! Glurkub! These dwarves stand between us and escape. Kill the dwarves! Kill them all! This is... this is not far enough. We have to... we have to keep going. Keep going. And going. Uh-oh. If what the dragon has said is true, the dwarves are doomed to fail. Do we flee from certain victory, Glucob? <sighs> we should return to Gundabad. 
I don't know whatever compelled us to leave. That is our place. The new Lord of Gundabad commanded it. The new Lord of Gundabad has commanded it. It appears that Durin is not happy on hearing this story. I can understand. Every word of it is true. Now you trust Glurkub. Now you let him go. Well, that's Durin's decision, and he is not happy, I must say. The lies of the goblin can't be believed. <sighs> I have not been controlled by the voice of Freemil Frostheart. I am no dragon's puppet. Lies. All it lies. The goblin claims that I am under Freemil Frostheart's control, obeying his command to reclaim Gundabad. Impossible. Unthinkable. Finally, I command you to slay this goblin where he stands. Really? Uh, ho hold on. What? What do you say, Gloin? The gob... The goblin cannot be killed in this fashion. It is beneath you to command Pineleaf to do this, Durin. A cage, as can be arranged for you as well, Gloin, and for all who speak against me. Your age will not save you from this captivity or from cruel treatment. I am your prince. Do you question that I am Durin the Seventh? For no Durin can ever be subject to a dragon compulsion. If you believe the lies of this goblin, you deny the very foundation upon which this con conquest was based. Speak now, Gloin. Speak and seal your fate. can't be true. It cannot. Gorgor asked, Are you the same as I am? What did he mean by that? What did he see? Did he recognize some compulsion in me? A compulsion that he shares? Have we both been ensnared by the dragon's voice? You are my prince, and I live to see it. Your will to be king will when your father no longer rules in Erebor. You are Durin the Seventh, and no dragon trick can change that. I will follow you wherever you leave. Huh? Something else? But maybe she not trust her power over him. She summons Gorgar not to her lair, but to another place called Lugros by the orcs. When he goes to see her, she makes him leave Fancy Hammer behind. She's scared of it for some reason. Gurukub not know why. Hammer small. But dragon, very big. But she not like it. He had le leave it on weapon rack near path of the summit. 
And when he's done meeting with her, he come down mountains and take it back. Any who dare to touch it would die by Gorgar's hand, but none have, because a risk none risk it. Hmm. Well. If Freemil has the power to command Gorgar, why would she not allow him to wield the Mithra hammer in his presence? She cannot fear he would use it against her, unless she doubted her hold upon him. Does she fear the Mithra hammer itself? That is very interesting, Pineleaf, and I see in it an opportunity. Let this guide our next move. It will be dangerous, but it may yield treasure commensurate with the risk. The orc may call it Lugros, but to us, those high places are known as Welkin Lofts. Climb up there, slaying any of the orcs that you encounter and see if the path to the summit is as Glurcub described. If there is no such weapon rack, we will know his story for what it is, full of lies. But if he does tell the truth, and there is such a place for Gorgar to leave his mithril hammer when he is summoned by the dragon, well, in that case... See if there is a hiding place nearby. I may have the beginnings of a plan. Of a plan. What is this plan? And what will we find in the Welkin Lofts? We'll have to find that out in the next episode of The Legacy of Deerin.